Hello, I'm Richard Jack Smith. I like the music by Bear McQuery. He has done some amazing video game scores such as God of War and his work on The Professor and Madman. Very, very good. There's a number of scores of his I like. Even check out The Cape, that's quite a good Zorro like effort. For Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank. He starts off in a very cool manner. There's two songs right at the beginning. Fantastic. I love the lyrics in those. He puts enough original touches, I think, especially in the first half of this score, that um, because he's basically riffing on like the Shaft theme and also uh, the Spaghetti Western, and that's quite. A, it seems like an odd couple, but trust me, it works quite well. The one bone of contention, the one little sort of straw that broke the camel's back which kind of diminished this effort for me was the Battle of Kakamucho. Now in between minutes two and three of that he puts in a little idea, a rhythmic idea which is very much like the Imperial March from John Williams' The Empire Strikes Back and it's distracting, it pulled me out, it, it ruined the immersion and that's followed by a direct quotation of James Horner's four note danger motif da -da -da -da. and I tell you, it just took me out of the experience because he didn't need to put that in he had enough ideas of his own the themes here are good it just kind of, it, it took away and he didn't need to do it but overall, like I say, this is an effort which it kind of wanes a little bit as it moves into the second half and like I say, those distracting elements do take away from the experience but overall Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank. Gosh, that's a terrible title. It's a good effort. I give it three out of five stars. Good work there, Bear. Better work next time, I hope. This week's mini review, Luck by John Debney. Seriously lacking in innovation and originality, John Debney's score proves charming and nice but it borrows so many elements from better scores, such as Victor Young's A Quiet Man, John Williams' Star Wars A New Hope, Jerry Goldsmith's Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, and James Horner's The Rocketeer. There are other references to Randy Newman's Toy Story. It's a decent effort with little replayability, at least for me. It was okay, very forgettable. I give Luck by John Debney 3 out of 5 stars. For more film and soundtrack reviews, please visit Betty Jo Tucker's website, Real Talk Movie Reviews. On Facebook, you can find my pages, Hypnotic Movie Reviews and Hypnotic Soundtrack Reviews. I am Richard Jack Smith, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.